is speaking. So that will really help us. <clears throat> okay, we will have a Q&A um, session at the end and also a time for ministry, maybe prayer and fellowship after the speaker is done. And that's usually about two or after two. So those who want to stay for that, you are more than welcome. And we will have people here to, to um, you know, help you through that. Okay, with that, I think we can just go into a time of worship and we have our own Shofar Lau, who is a very gifted musician. And so I'm gonna just hand it over to Brother Shofar. Brother Shofar. Thank you so much, Brother Samuel, for the introduction, Lord. And I just, before I start, just want to testify a little bit testimony this morning. Uh, about 11 o'clock, I text to Brother Raymond Day, say, Brother, I'm feeling unwell. Probably, maybe I was just doubting whether I can do worship today. You know, I have a challenge in my health. And uh, this morning, I just couldn't find the strength. But over the uh, WhatsApp, he said he prayed for, uh, for me with uh, Brother Samuel. And lo and behold, 12... Just five minutes before I set up, you know, by faith, the heaviness also just lifted up a bit. Now, let's together, join our hearts together to give the Lord the praise and worship. Amen. He, he is indeed here with us. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Yes. Father, we thank you, Lord. You are our healer. We want to come into your presence give you the praise and worship Lord. we welcome your presence all your children gather our hearts together one voice one spirit lifting up your name give you the all the glory and honor and power and give you the highest praise Enter into the holy of holies of the Lord this morning. I enter the
Mr. Shofar, can you turn up your volume a bit more? Testing okay now? Yeah. It is better now? Wonderful. Yes, okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God with us. Let it be praised.
declare you are here with us, Lord. We declare you are here also for us, Lord. And nothing, nothing will come against us, Lord. No one can stand between us, Lord. We just commit to you, O oh God, all our brother and sister in this Zoom, even those that are here, the family member, for protection, for empowering, for anointing, for your glory and you, and you alone, Father, Lord. We declare you are with us. You are forever for us. Thank you, Lord. Bless your holy name. We lift your holy name. We bless you. Bless your name, Father God. We praise you. We worship you forever and forever, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Brother Shaf Shafalau, for that um, uh, wonderful time of worship. God with us. Welcome. God for us. So let's... Um, Let's uh, speak out our FGB MFI mission statement together, which is something that we do in every meeting. So can we just, uh, Shofa, when you want to lead us? Yes, sure, definitely. Uh, let us, sorry about the noise. Uh, let us just declare our mission statement together. One voice, one spirit. One, two, three. One to reach men. Everywhere for the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, want to call men back to God. Three, we want to train and equip men to fulfill the great commission. Number four, want to help believers baptized in the Holy Spirit and to grow spiritually. Number five, want to provide an opportunity for Christian fellowship. Number six, want to provide a greater unity among all people in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And hallelujah. Praise. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Shofa. Um, so, uh, just just a quick uh, before we go into the main speaker uh, section, we just want to share with you. Some of you already know this, and a lot of us are involved with NECF through your churches. So, there's an urgent need, an invitation to fast and pray for our nation. As you know, there's been some announcements with, uh, with the MCO and, and, and other things. So um, we need to pray for the nation. So this is a call from NECF to all believers. Um, God's divine intervention and bring healing to Malaysia, wisdom for the leaders, Raya to stay safe. Um, and please communicate this to your members. Uh, quite a few of you are pastors here uh, in your groups and so on and uh, by use every means to kind of uh, gather together and pray together. <clears throat> Our cry is, is to be pour out your Holy Spirit upon our nation, protect, heal, and restore us, Heavenly Father, all right? So this is for seven days from the 18th till the 24th of January, and there is power in prayer, especially when believers come together. All right, just wanted to share that with all of you. All right, so we, we thank God. We have uh, about 84 people signed in. Praise the Lord for that. The video um, we, we thank the Lord for the 40th Zoom meeting. This is a 40th session um, since MCO lockdown started in 2020. And really, it is, it is driven by uh, Brother Raymond Tay, the chapter president of FGB Three Hartamas, which I also belong and chauffeur and a few of us here. And uh, God has really given him the uh, talents, giftings to be able to do this. And uh, it's amazing to see how it's reaching uh, the number of people that, that we're able to reach only by God's grace. Uh, we're having our first speaker for 2021. And to know him, to make him known, and to be thankful, Reverend Benedict Rajan. Uh, a lot of you know about him. A lot of you know the work that he's doing. He's not only a speaker, um, sought after uh, a reverend pastor, uh, moving in the gifts of the spirit in Malaysia, but also outside Malaysia. So we're very honored, very blessed, privileged to have him uh, as our first speaker. So he's going to talk about a very timely topic, uh, finding certainty 
in an uncertain time. And uh, we are all living in a very uncertain time, not only in Malaysia, but globally. Um, so we have Pastor who's going to Reverend uh, Benedict. A little bit about uh, Reverend Benedict Rajan, those of you who don't know. He's a senior overseer of Calvary City Church in Johor Bahru, Malaysia. He has served God in full-time ministry for over three decades. Um, one of the core values of CCC, a church without walls, a ministry to the multitudes, broken, alone, poor, orphans, homeless, abused, the outcasts of the society. That's a burden, a, a, a calling that uh, Pastor Rajan has had, and he's been obedient to this. And even meeting today on Zoom is an example of church without walls, isn't it? It's exciting. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. God placed a burden on his heart and uh, he has, he has uh, uh, obediently followed that. He has uh, set up in the early days, you know, um, a, a non-governmental, non-profit social organization called Pusat Kebajikan Calvary uh, in 19, 1989, which is about 30, 32 years. You can look at the website, PKK, dot com dot my and see all the work they are doing with the mission to enable the unable uh, to be able <clears throat> so this has just a few pictures and uh, it's amazing this 30 plus years uh, the great work uh, says a lot isn't it when, when God is in things so since 1989 they have expanded to 14 shelter homes eight substance abuse rehabilitation centers, two special education centers, meeting needs of the community in Johor Bahru. And currently PKK is meeting the needs of about 500 plus people. Um, Pastor Rajan strongly believes that a personal prayer life is utmost importance to living a spirit-filled and powered Christian life. All right. So uh, to know him, to make him known and to be thankful, which... Uh, he echoes and lives uh, daily. So it is a great privilege and honor. I've heard about Pastor Rajan. I've not met him. Uh, but let's uh, welcome uh, Reverend Benedict Rajan. Over to you. Thank you, Brother Samuel. Thank you for such a long and kind uh, introduction Thank you, Brother Raymond. Thank you, Sri um, Thank you for giving me uh, this opportunity to share the word uh, for a time such as this. I would like to begin by praying. Is that all right with you guys? Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit every single one that is participating in this meeting, we declare your blessings and favor to rest upon them. Especially we pray for this Sri Hartamas chapter, Full Gospel Businessman chapter. Thank you for people who have devoted their life to touch lives. I declare prophetically as in Isaiah 58 and verse 12. This is the word that God has for this chapter, Isaiah 58 and verse 12. Those from among you shall build the old waste place. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations, and you shall be called the repairer of the bridge the restorer of the street to dwell in. For this day, the Lord will have this known to you. I, the Lord, will cause you to become an effective evangelistic arm for a time such as this. In the days that are ahead, many will come to the fountain of Sri Hartamas, and they will come and quench their thirst for the reality of life. Father, I just declare this Sri Hartamas chapter dedicated to you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And pray for those who are involved. Your anointing will be immeasurable. 
we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Praise God. Now, what is God's economy? You know, uh, I think all of you are people who are involved in the marketplace. Some of you may be pastors. Now, what is the definition of God's economy? Could you please turn with me to your Bibles uh, to, uh, to Psalms 37 before I get to the word? Psalms 37, verse 18 and 19. You know, this is, this is the time when we, we need to get to the promises of God. Psalms 37, verse 18 and 19 says this. This is God's economy. The Lord knows the days of the upright. Your days are very cleverly planned by God. The Lord knows the days of the upright. And the inheritance shall be forever. Whether they are in recession, whether they are in famine, whether they are in economical downturn, their inheritance will be forever. Look at the next verse. They shall not be ashamed in evil time. This is evil time. We have got political instability. We also have got the famine of finance, the famine of job, pandemic. They will not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, the word, I like famine. In the days of famine, not that I like famine, the word then, the famine of finance, the famine of job, the famine of opportunity. In, in the days of famine, they will be satisfied. Now, this is God's economy. Praise God. Isn't that wonderful? My message today will be focused on two parts. Number one, um, how do we find certainty in uncertain times? Number two, what is God's prophetic word for year 2021? I like to begin with a scripture that will bring great comfort to us. Number one, the scripture, Hebrew, the 13th chapter was 8. Hebrew 13, 8 says, Jesus is the same yesterday, before the pandemic, today in the pandemic, in Malaysia, MCO emergency ordinance, and forever, forever. Now, if there is one thing that is consistent, it is Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Come on, somebody say man, please. Now, coming back to the message, Jesus said, I'm flowing to the message right now. Jesus said, as I said, my title will be Finding certain Certainty in Uncertain Times. Now, Jesus again said, look at the time and season we are living in. Jesus said in Matthew 24, verses 7 and 8, Jesus said, for nations will rise against nations, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famine. Today, we may not have the famine of food, but we have a famine of finance right now. Okay? Many people have lost their job. Many businesses have to be wound down. You know, hotels are closed. You know, a, 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 a Pastor Rajan, you are muted. Sorry. Yeah, I think it's. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, good. Go ahead. Okay. Is, Go ahead. Did this happen long ago? No, no, no. Just, just a couple of seconds. Go okay, ahead. thank you. Okay. Now, so coming back to this, this is the time and season we are living in. Jesus said, for nations will rise against nations. Kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famine, pestilence, earthquake in various places. Uh, and Jesus said, take heart, all this are the beginning of sorrow. Beginning of sorrow. You know, now this is a prophecy of the time and season we are living in. This pandemic is a sure sign of the coming of Jesus. After this meeting, we would have come closer to the return of Jesus. Now, this is the prophecy. Now, together with the prophecy, God 
gave a promise. And that's where we can be certain in uncertain times. In John, the 16th chapter, verse 33, Jesus said, this is a promise. Jesus said, this things, prophecy, you go back and read the 16th chapter, this things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. You see, in Jesus we have peace. For some reason, if you are not in Jesus, you need to quickly get to Jesus. Why? In the world, you will have tribulation. In the world, we will have tribulations. But be of good cheer that I have overcome the world. Jesus has overcome the world. You in Jesus makes you an overcomer. My friends, there are seven questions that I want to ask you today. Questions of uncertainty. Today, not only our nation, but the entire world has not only plunged into this pandemic, but we also faced with the principality of fear, the bondage of anxiety, and the, 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 the worries and the care, the famine of finance, uncertainty. You know, everything seems to be uncertain. You know, now this is the questions we must answer. Now, number one, seven questions before I share with you how you can have an access to this overcomer. Jesus said, be of good cheer, I overcome the world. What a comfort. What a comfort. In the midst of darkness, in the midst of deep darkness, the Lord Jesus can rise over you. Praise God. Isn't that wonderful? Come on, isn't that wonderful? Number one. Question number one. Are you troubled in life? As you're listening to this message, you probably would have lost maybe your appetite Maybe you sleep. I'm not very sure. Are you troubled in life? Some people say when you trouble, the trouble, the trouble will leave. But you cannot trouble the trouble in your life without Jesus. And Jesus said in John 14, 1, John 14, 1, Jesus said this, let not your heart be troubled. When Jesus says something, he is serious. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in me, believe, believe in God, you also believe in me. Very simple, right? The minute when you put your trust in God, your troubles are ready to become a treasure of life. And your trust in God cannot easily rust. Number two, question number two. Have you lost your peace? Yes, many of us. We have lost our peace. You know, and have you lost your peace? Where have you lost your peace? Is it in your job? Is it in your business? Is it in your family? Where have you lost your peace? And Jesus said this, look at, he's an overcomer. I've overcome the world. Jesus said in John 14, 27, peace, I live with you. Peace, I live with you. And then my peace, I give to you. And Jesus paid a very heavy price for this peace. My peace I live to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Today, the entire system of the world is almost collapsing. The clever mind of man seems not to be working. Now, and Jesus said, not as the world would give do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You hear with me? Are you ready to receive this peace that Jesus has for you? In the midst of all this pandemic, anxiety, famine, worry, uncertainty, this peace cannot be shaken. Glory to God. Jesus said, he is our peace. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. The third question I want to ask you very quickly. Have you become anxious and worried? Have you become anxious? You know, the Bible tells us 
in Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 25. Anxiety in the heart of man causes depression. Today, yes. You know, I don't know how many of them in this 14 days of MCO are going to be depressed in Malaysia. We're not sure. You know, anxiety in the heart of man. Anxiety in the heart of man brings depression. But a good word makes it glad. And I want to encourage you. Are you anxious and worried? Jesus said this in Matthew, the sixth chapter, verse 31 and 32. Therefore, Jesus said, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? What shall we wear? All these are questions of uncertainty. You know, worry. And after all these things, the people who do not know God go after. But the good news is, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. The God who created you, the God who brought you to this point and preserved you from this COVID-19 knows the very need that you have. Can somebody say amen, please? Or wave your hand to me, right? He knows your need. Even before you start praying, even before you start in the sitting, he knows your need. Praise God. Come on, somebody say amen, please. Number four, question number four. Are you fearful? Today, there's so much of fear, so much of fear. You know, people have got all kinds of fear. Are you fearful? Yes, we are. Look what Jesus said. Look at the promises of God. Isaiah 41 verse 10. This is the promise of God. Fear not. We are power. Fear not. Fear not. I am with you. When God says I'm with you, he's with you. Be not be dismayed. We are dancing. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. And I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isn't that wonderful? Because he has overcome the world. Be of good cheer. Number five. Are you faced with the famine of finance? Yes, true. Many of us have gone through pay cuts. Many of us have lost our businesses. We have lost our opportunity. But thank God, in famine, you will be satisfied. Your inheritance is forever. Psalms 37, verse 18 and 19. That is God's economy. I know, you know, the reality is reality. But you and I, as a child of God, we need to come to a place to know the reality is not the finality. The facts can be overruled by the truth of God's word. Come on, somebody say man, please. Amen. Go back to the word. Go back to his promises. You know, and Matthew 6, chapter verse 33, Jesus gave us the key, Amen. Amen. The key to the to, of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. You know, Amen. Matthew, yes, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. You know what Jesus said? Are you faithful with the family of finance? Seek first the kingdom of God Amen. and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. All these things will not be given to you, will be added unto you. That's why I told you a few minutes ago, your inheritance is forever. Come on, somebody say amen, please. It will be added to you before the need becomes a provoking lack. God will meet your need. Glory to God. Seek first the kingdom of God. When you stand up for God, when you stand up for his truth, Jesus will stand up for you. Come on, somebody say man, please. Question number six. Are you uncertain? Are you uncertain? You know, are there uncertainty in your life? You know, your uncertainty may be different from mine. I'm uncertain. But friends, I want you to know there's one thing that can bring certainty into your life. With solid confidence, Jesus said, in John the 14th chapter verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through me. Those of us who are born again, those of us who believe in Jesus, it's time to take a relook at our journey with Jesus. He's the way, 
He's the way out. He's the truth to all the facts. He is life to live in this uncertainty. Come on, somebody shout amen, please. Amen. Praise God. Isn't that wonderful? And finally, in this uncertain time, you know, um, you know, do you need a miracle? Where do you need a divine intervention? Where do you need God to come? And champur tangan, divine intervention. Where do you need? Friends, you and I know Jesus said in Mark 10, 27, he looked at the people and he said, these things are impossible with man, but with God, all things are possible. Come on, time to turn your impossibility into the hands of God. And he is ready to turn your impossibility into a possibility. Possible. And Jesus said in Mark 9, 23, to them that believes, if you can, it's a choice. If you can, to them that believes, all things are possible. Come on, somebody say amen, please. Amen. amen. These amen. are seven life-changing questions that I asked you. If any one of the questions applies to you, and you are sitting there, and you have been assaulted by this, this uncertainty of uh, the, the world and the nation and the politics and system of the world, then you need to turn to Jesus. My friends, are you here with me? Your life matters to Jesus. Your life really matters to Jesus. For all those believers who are watching, you know what the Bible tells us? In Psalms 115, verse 12, 13, and 14. Psalms 115, verse 12, 13, and 14. God is mindful of you to bless you and to bless your family and to bless your children's children. Glory to God. Are you here with me? And all those who are watching and you're not sure of Jesus, let me just share this with you very quickly before I get to the prophetic word. Jesus said in John 10.10, 10, the thief or the devil comes to steal and to kill and to destroy but Jesus said, I've come to give you life and life more abundantly. What does it mean? Life in the midst of uncertainty with certainty. Glory to God. Your miracle is as far as your trust is in Jesus. Don't sit there in your depression. Don't sit there in a disappointment. Don't sit there in your discouragement. Don't sit there in your fear. Put your trust in God. The Bible tells us in Romans 3.23, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, the good and the bad. And Romans 6.23 tells us, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God in, through Christ Jesus is eternal life. And I'd like you to turn your life to Jesus. And a dynamic promise of coming to Jesus is 2 Corinthians 5.17. Anyone in Christ is a new creation. All things have gone. Everything has become new. Glory to God. This is a life-changing miracle. I invite you to surrender your heart to Jesus. Give him a try. You know, friends, you've gone to this temple. You've gone to that temple. You've consulted this. You've consulted this and that. Now, why don't you turn your heart to Jesus? And the Bible tells us so shortly in Romans 10, 11, anyone who puts their trust in Jesus will not be ashamed. Will not be ashamed. I, I assure you, praise God. Is that wonderful? Is that wonderful? And Jesus says this, before I come to the prophetic word, Jesus says this in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and knock. If anyone hears, and opens the heart, I will come in, and I will be with him, and he will be with me. Glory to God. A life-changing experience. And if you're watching this, and if you want to surrender your heart to Jesus, and all the mics are muted right now, wherever you are, you just repeat this prayer of invitation before I get to the prophetic word. I know some of you are sitting there and wondering, what is God's direction for your 2021? Say this together with me. Lord Jesus, I open my heart to you. 
I open my heart to you. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. From today onwards. onwards. I declare. I declare. Jesus. Jesus. You are the Lord of my life. Sure, my Lord, you are my life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I pray. I pray, man. Amen. Father, amen. I just pray amen. for those who made this prayer, who recommitted their life, God just touched them awesomely. Because amen. there's an awesome amen. presence of God all over this amen. place. Touch them, dear amen. Lord. Let them walk out of this place having an answer for all the seven questions. Thank you, dear Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I've got a few more minutes. I'd like to quickly share with you what is the prophetic word for year 2020 and 21, sorry, 21, 20, uh, 2021. Now, now friends, year 2021, 20, sorry, 21 is a uh, 2021 is a year of restoration, number one. It's a year of restoration. Don't be disturbed by what's happening around. Number one, it's a year of restitution. Restitution. Number two, it's a year of restoration. Restitution, restoration, and it's also a year of acceleration. That which is not given will be given, that which is not restored will be restored, that which has been slowed down will pick up God's speed. Now let me just give you a scripture. This is uh, in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of all this uncertainty, a new season is dawning on the body of Christ. A new season. It's like Joshua, in Joshua the third chapter, third chapter, verse four and five. Joshua told the people, before you cross over to claim the promised land, I said claim, it's going to be a warfare. I'm going to, you're going to claim the uh, promised land from the Jebusites, the Hebites. He said, you're going to go to the places you have never been before. There are going to be pleasant uh, surprises from the kingdom of God for you, for you, your family, in whatever you're doing, glory to God. And then verse 5, he said, Consecrate yourself today, Sri Hatamas. Consecrate yourself today, for today's con consecration will bring tomorrow's miracle. Serious. Today's consecrate, I'm setting apart myself. I'm going to trust God. In the midst of all this unbelief, I'm going to trust God. You know, and then what is the season? As I said earlier, number one, the first thing that will take place as soon as you begin to receive this prophetic word. Number one, a season of acceleration. God's speed, God's speed, that which has been slowed down, that which has been delayed, that which has been waiting on the pause mode, that has been on the waiting list, that acceleration, God will accelerate. The Holy Spirit said he's going to do that. It's like Isaiah 16, verse 21 and 22. Also, you, your people shall be righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one, look at verse 22. I like this. A little one will become a thousand. A small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. You know, it's so hard to believe in the face of all the facts that's looking at us. But I'm talking about the truth of God's word. We take the truth of God's word and we harmonize with the facts that God's will and plan can be accomplished in our life. Come on, somebody say amen, please. I believe with all my heart an unprecedented acceleration of God's favor, blessings, restitution is going to happen in the affair of your life. I release this as a prophetic word. Amen. Number two, a season of restoration and restitution. You know, a season of restoration, God's healing of everything. You know, since the first MCO, March the 18th, 
every day at seven o'clock. We come every day without fail. Every day we have a prayer call, prayer watch. If Samuel is watching the Samuel Tan, the Samuel Tan is one of our leaders. He's watching, I think. You know what? We pray. We pray for the acceleration of the development of the vaccine against facts, against facts, hope against hope. We pray every, every seven o'clock a team will come lead in prayer. And friends, I tell you, we are in that season right now. Acceleration. What need to move? I'm stuck. Your waiting time is not a wasted time. Your waiting time is God's working time. Your waiting time is God's speaking time. Glory to God. Number two, a season of restoration. What, what need to be restored in your life? Joel chapter two, also restoration and restitution. Joel chapter two, verse 25, 26. The Lord says, I will give you back what you lost. What have you lost? You know, friends, the best lost and found department is in the kingdom of God. God gives it back to you. The, the Lord says, I'll give you back what you have lost to the swarming locusts, the hopping locusts, the stripping locusts, and the cutting locusts. Once again, you will have all the food you want, and you will praise the Lord your God who does these miracles for you. Never again will my people be disgraced. So therefore, I declare prophetically, as surely as the Lord lives, we are marching into a season of restitution, into a season of restoration, into a season of acceleration. What is the response to the body of Christ for a time such as this? Matthew 24, verse 14. And this gospel will be preached as a sign, and then my end will come. Greater evangelism, greater harvest, greater revival. Praise God. Can I pray with you guys? Can I pray? Okay, let's pray. Father, in let's the pray, name of Father. Jesus, I pray for yeah. those who need to know Jesus. They will experience Jesus. They will not just come to know Jesus. They will experience him. And I pray for everyone who has, who has logged on uh, in the Zoom meeting. I pray and mention their name and pray for them. God, touch them for this day. The Lord will have this known to you. I, the Lord, will uproot you in those things that caused you to be entrenched in the things of the world. I'm doing something new. The season of restitution, the season of restoration, the season of acceleration will bring changes that you've never seen before. As you receive this word, I, the Lord, will bring forth a paradigm prophetic shift in your prophetic destiny. Father, I just pray those that are sick in the body will begin to be healed in Jesus' name. I'm bringing families together. So someone who's pregnant, who is going through a difficult time, you're representing them and God is healing that person. Wounds that are closed are ready to be opened. Hallelujah. Ratakasata, jobs that are lost will be replaced with overwhelming jobs. Finances that are lost will be multiplied and will be given back to you. Therefore, do not be discouraged. Do not be disappointed. Do not be anxious. For I, the Lord, in the midst of you is mighty, say the Lord. As in Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 15, 16, 17. I, the Lord, in the midst of you is mighty, say the Lord. Rakata, rata, Anoint them, use them. I pray for uh, Raymond. I pray for uh, Korean. I pray for all those who are here by name. I call them and pray for them. Set them apart. Renew them. Refresh them. Remove the cloud of uncertainty. Uncertainty of our nation. Bring forth a new political stability. Oh God, this nation is your nation, and all the nations that are represented. Bless them, I speak, Lord. You are blessed. You are healed. You are saved. You are set free. You are the head and not the tail. You are set to be a blessing. I release your anointing over them. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 God bless you. I am open for questions. Amen. 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 Yes, time for Q&A. Uh, Amen. After, uh, Reverend Benedict Rajan has really shared a word for the season. Uh, how do we find certainty in uncertain times and also the prophetic word? 
a year of restitution, a year of restoration, a year of acceleration. So I believe it has spoken to all of us. And please take the time uh, to ask questions now. So it's open. Just unmute and ask the questions, please. Who has a question or anything you want to know more about? Brother Samuel, I think you need to ask the first question first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, yes. So, but uh, Reverend, I, I think, you know, one of the things I'm very impressed is your consistency. Uh, you know, that the character and the example you have set. Um, it's an inspiration for many. I'm just curious as to the, you know, I'm sure you've gone through many challenges in setting up PKK. Uh, I know you don't advertise or anything, but how, I mean, I'm sure there were times when it was tough. Uh, and, and what kept you going? Were there people, uh, was, was there something that came through for you that saw you through this 30 years? Okay, now uh, in the, we have 26 homes right now. Wow. And uh, we are almost 1,000 people in a home. Um, one thing uh, for sure, we don't have, number one, financial problems. Number two, we don't have workers' problem. The key to this is this. You know, one of my mission's idol is uh, Hudson Taylor. When I was in Bible school, I, I did a research paper on Hudson Taylor. Now, one of his statements just captivated my heart. And that's my mission statement too. Apart from knowing him, making him known and being thankful. And this is the statement. God's work done according to God's ways will not lack God, God's provision. So that has been the key factor. Just do what the Lord wants you to do. Don't do anything else. Even though you're tempted to do, no? Don't do. So that's the key. I hope I answered yeah. your question. Yeah. So being aligned, doing what God wants you to do. That's right. Exactly. Don't do anything more, less. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, Reverend. Others, please take the opportunity to ask. Uh, Raymond, you are number two, okay, Raymond? <laughs> <laughs> Very clever, you ask him to ask, you don't ask. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Uh, Raymond, Azarat. good to see you, Raymond. Yeah, yeah, good to see you. Good to, uh, thank you so much for coming. Hey, out. welcome, you're my brother, man. Uh, it was the last year I asked you to speak and say, wait, next year. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You kept your word, you know, you kept your word, I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. so... Yes. I think see, there are so many people in the world, you know, keep on asking, you know, what's the direction for 2021? So uh, my only question, because I know the world has failed us. Exactly. Uh, failed us. Yeah, so that's the encouragement. So what yes. do, you know, to the business people in the marketplace, uh, yes. what do they need to do more? I think. Okay, now, as I said earlier, we need to go back to God's economy, you know? You know, if you look at Psalms 37, verse 18 and 19, how can Psalms 37, it says, uh, the Lord knows the days of their pride and their inheritance, not blessings, huh? inheritance is forever. Blessings come and go. And in evil time, they will not be ashamed. In famine, they will be satisfied. Now, what unlocks this great economy of God? Very simple. Matthew 6.33. Raymond, I remember you always said, go back to the word. Okay? That's your, one of your favorite statements, no? Go back to the word, the word of God. Matthew 6, 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So we must learn to focus on Jesus and his word, and don't be distracted. Very simple. Finish. Master, then you yeah, practice yeah. integrity. Yes. You know, in uh, my children's, you know, their favorite verses, one of their favorite verses is uh, Jeremiah 29, 11. Whoa, my favorite too. Yes, 
And then later on, I add on your Matthew 6.33 for them. I said, don't oh, forget the Matthew 6.33. That's right. That's a key. Mm. That's a key. Encourage you guys. Don't be discouraged. Uh, we, have, we have 90 of our people. So take the opportunity. Otherwise, I'm going to grab Yeah, your... yeah. I, let, let me give a chance. Brando, Brando. Uh, okay. uh, sure. Wilson, Wilson, yes. Yeah, thank you. Just very short uh, uh, question. I'm uh, really sure. believe on uh, all the prophetic words. So I have one feeling before a long time. Uh, I'm, I believe whatever prophetic has come is true. But in this uh, coming year, very uh, just I give an example. I always listen about in America, the many prophetic and prayers for, about the new king, uh, ruling. But are we also very happy that God will fulfill our, our faith? Said That's we are right. also uh, believe the prophetic and praying, but until the last minute, the, all the prophetic is gone and something the evil. I, I, I don't want to say evil, but something has changed. What's happened, sir? So some prophetic is uh, sometime it's going to change. It is pro we have the week on prophetic or our week. Uh, I want to know. Can you answer me, please? Sir? No. Okay. <laughs> now God's plan does not change. Yeah. God's plan yes. does not change. Yes. Yes. Sometimes God's plan can be delayed yeah. for various yeah. reasons. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. No, I believe whatever the prophets have said, there is a time, time okay. frame. Now, Romans, the eighth chapter, verse 28 says, all things work together for good to those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Now, this is a universal promise for every one of us, whether the prophecy is answered or the prophecy is not answered, this is the universal promise of God. Yes, thank you. All very so wonderful. we need to yeah. move on. You know? Yes, uh, yes, correct. Yes. Now, sometimes the, the prophecy can be, can be for a time and season. So we need to wait and see. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I God believe what you said. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Pray I for hope our I've answered your question. Also, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank Pastor, you. Pastor, can I ask you a question? Sure, sir. There is one uh, opinion okay. that uh, our country is in a mess because our church is in a mess. So how do we respond to the current situation in our okay. country? Thank sure. you. Starting from today, we have started a 14 days of fasting and prayer. Okay. Now, brother, you are right. To a certain extent, you are right. Remember, Jesus said in Matthew 16, 18 and 19, Peter, upon this rock, I'll build my church. And the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And then the 19th verse he said, to you I give you the kingdom, to the, the keys of the kingdom, not to the kingdom, of the kingdom of God. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. I believe God is bringing us back to the place of prayer. 1 Peter 4, 7, Paul says, the end of all things at hand. Therefore, let us be watchful and be serious concerning prayer. So we need to come back to the place of prayer because we don't have the key to the kingdom. We already are in the kingdom. We are born again, but we have the keys of the kingdom. What is the keys of the kingdom? To change destiny, to change direction, to change rulers, to change the cause of the nation. So we need to come together. And I'm glad NECF has come up with prayer. And we have started from today a 14 day of fasting and prayer. Our leaders, our pastors. Thank you, brother. That's the key. The church needs to shape up. I believe with all my heart. With all fairness, we need to shape up. Thank you, sir. Ms. Any Eason? questions? I think that's a question from uh, Ms. E. Shan E. Poon. Shan E. from uh, San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah, go ahead. Hello, oh, hi. Oh, um, sorry, I had to arrive late because I came from another meeting. Well, I really, really enjoyed your... Um, Thank you. Everything you said. Um, and um, your, your initial prophetic word about the um, seasons of restitution and restoration and acceleration. Yes. I really received that because... Um, 
I believe I am stepping into a new season for myself professionally. Um, and then um, my heart is very uh, worried and troubled for our um, election situation. Um, and I was really encouraged when you were talking about with, you know, with men is impossible, but with God is possible. All things are possible, right. Um, so where I'm struggling right now is that, um, as you, I don't know, um, you know, many of you probably have been following um, this just, it's just so unbelievable what's going on with yes, yes. the, the state of uh, with the, uh, corruption and the, and, the, and fraud and all that. Yeah. Right. Um, and, and how there's, uh, the, the media, um, you know, is, is, um, manipulates everything. <laughs> yeah. So now, um, I've received certain, uh, videos and, uh, um, social media messages uh, from the, you know, the presidents, um, you know, from the um, supporters of, of President Trump, that I pray that it's true what I'm hearing, which is that in the next few days, he actually has been preparing for this period. And he knows that it's going to, that, that he, that this last period, um, you know, it's kind of like God is going to move in the 11th hour and that um, and that President Trump actually has all the ace card in his hands mm -hmm. and that um, uh, and that, you know, he ultimately is the mass of the checkmate position that, you know, is almost like the story of, of Mordecai and mm -hmm. um, Haman yes. and that the evil plans to destroy God's service uh, will be reversed. Um, so I, am, I just can't stop myself from uh, praying as well as I'm searching for, I, I'm so desperate for it to be true. Uh, but as you say that if it is not, but God is all, my, all he is in control and he, right. his plan does not change. It may not be this timing uh, yeah. because President Trump's last speech was that it's going to be a smooth transition of the oh, new government. But at right. the very end of the speech, he said that he, you know, the work is just beginning. So we are all hanging on to that word. What does he mean by the, the work is just beginning? Okay. So let, let me, let I'm just, sorry. This is such a huge. Let, yeah, I know. I know that, it's a huge word. Now, uh, Josephine, right? Shen Yi, Shen Yi. Uh, okay, Shen, Shen, oh, Shen Yi, Shen Yi. Uh, let me just share Shen this Yi. with you. We, we understand the burden in your heart. Without getting into the politics of the nation, I like to say this to you, that God is bigger than all that's happening right now. Amen. You know, he's bigger. Okay? Now, Amen. his hand Amen. is Amen. Amen. upon the entire situation. If it is the other man and not Trump, now we will, if it is Trump or the other man or this man or that man, we will willingly submit to what God has to do. If you look at Acts chapter 17, verse 26, every geographical border of the nation is determined by God. In other words, yeah. Jesus yes. is the Lord of every nation. Yes. Every nation, in the midst of principalities, in the midst of powers, in the midst of wicked rulers of this dark age, in the midst of evil principality, Jesus still rules and reigns. You know, yes. sometimes God oh, allows yes. this so that the church can become stronger. Seriously, mm. what yeah, we do when yeah. we face the resistance, we stand up and pray. You know, when everything goes smooth, sometimes we get into complacency. I'm glad you're praying. This praying, even if it doesn't answer your prayer need, it will bring you closer to God. That's the ultimate aim of God. Amen. Isn't that wonderful, Shani? Amen, amen. Yeah, it's correct. Now, let me just pray with you. Father, I just commit Shani into your hands. I pray that you will lift up the burden that's in her heart. Let her expectation be Jesus' expectation. That she will not just cling on to any one person's word, 
but you will hold on to you, dear Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, sir. Any other questions? Shani, God bless you. Yes, Thank Pastor you. Mohan. Pastor Mohan, also from Johor. Oh. Can I have something? An old friend now. Benedict. <laughs> oh, he's from KL, not JB. Yeah, but I was studying in Tuang before, lah. That's why oh, he said Johor. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, hi, my brother. You got a question? No, no, no. He is just asking. Uh, Lim, oh, just okay, okay. Uh, I don't know those days. Bible school. Brother Lim, you have a question, brother Lim? Yeah, brother Albert, uh, Dato Albert Lim from KK. You want uh, to? Ask? I just want to add something. Ask your permission to add something regarding the two. Uh, our brother Joseph Ding and also our sister Shahin. And whatever that Pastor Reverend Benedict Regen today share is absolutely, absolutely from the Spirit of the Lord anointing. Mm. I want to confirm this to you all. We shouldn't have fear. We shouldn't have burden. Because the Word of God was with us. The word of God, well, we shouldn't be, because Jesus told you all already, that he given you the authority like our, our Joshua, you know, you, what happened, our direction of a country. And then our our sister shines, talk about America. Because like Pastor Richard say, Jesus knows everything. He is our Lord. Let Just like Peter, he was walking on the water. His eye was focused on Jesus. That he never fall. Why should our eyes, our mind focus on the world as in the John 16, 33, that in this world, we shall have tribulation. tribulation. And in him, he had the peace. I also don't understand, uh, just now our pastor Samuel Kuran said that a pastor Rajan was ministering three decades. One decade is how many years, pastor Samuel? One <laughs> decade. I only know one generation is 50 years. So I am ministering for 50 years, 49 oh. plus few months. Uh, so I know <laughs> I have gone through wave, many, many waves through the circle. So this is the first time that we meet in this pandemic. Jesus always say, fear not. Because we fear we don't have perfect love in him. That's right. Once you have perfect love in the word of God, and I want to caution you one more thing. One more thing. Just remember that the, that the law of double mention that G, in the book of Deuteronomy said, even though today you need it, man shall not live by bread alone, mm. but by every word that proceeds out from the mouth of God. The last three words say, do men live? Amen. And it was confirmed by Jesus in Matthew 4.4 4, when he came out from the water. And he was hungry for 40 days and 40 nights. And the Satan uh, tempted him, say, if you are the sons of God, turn this stone into bread. And Jesus also replied the same thing. It is written. Uh, it is written. Uh, for man shall not live by bread alone. Amen. By, by every word that proceeds from out from the mouth of God. So Amen. brothers and sisters, we are living in the end time right now. I've been telling people since 2015, since the day of GST onward, I've been telling people, I've been confronted with end time, end time, end time. And this is what God said. And these three things I want to remind you at this moment of time. Be real, R-E-A-L. Be real means you must be genuine. You are a genuine born again Christian. You have the image of God and you have the righteousness of Jesus in you. Mm -hmm. That is called real, genuine in you. And the second one is you must be patient. Be patient because God is coming soon. That you have to go through all this uh, sorrowful time, suffering time. But God said, because my spirit is with you. Uh, mm -hmm. I have given you the authority. And you have already inherited my image through the blood, the redemption of Jesus Christ. That is all the comforting word, like what our brother, our Reverend Benedict say that in the 37, 18, 19, because of the righteousness in you, 
No man is righteous. Just now he had mentioned in, in Romans, all have sinned. And he also said the sinner prayer just now, even though we are over a decade or one generation Christian, because every day we need to work out our salvation to God. So trouble not. Jesus said, no trouble. Mm. My dear sister, even you are in, in America, you hear a lot of news about Trump, about this Biden, about his, his group of ministers. They are gay. They are just, don't fear. Jesus is more concerned about you and me. We are in the body of Christ right now. We are only sharpened iron. We use the word of God to encourage you. Maybe you have forgotten. Huh? You have forgotten about this word. You have forgotten about that word. So our, our, our reverend, from today onward, the word that he shared, about more than 17 verses, more than 17, if I'm not wrong, sorry, uh, Bra uh, Reverend Bredek, if I'm not wrong, you have quoted more than 17 verses. These are all truly, are uh, truly the word of God for you today, for all of us today, including me also. So Thank you. We, shall, we shall Thank cast you, our, we, Thank we, have, you. we shall cast the burden to the Lord. We Thank have you. challenged and fix our eyes upon Jesus. Thank and you. In conclusion, uh, and then at the, I say what? Real, patient, and the third one, be kind, merciful, giving. Uh, because there will be hunger. Just now he was thinking. Hunger doesn't mean food. Hunger in, they have no job. Hunger means, this is a prophetic word. The word that God you hunger. Uh, your blessings are those uh, who are uh, pure in heart for their kingdom is God. So now a lot of people are hunger. Hunger in truth. They are hunger in truth. So when you come to God, God will do the same thing. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Lim. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Yes. If there's no other questions, it, it, past, uh, Pastor Rajan, there's one word that uh, kind uh -huh. of is, is uh, echoing in my heart. Uh, you know, before Joshua crossed over, and I think sometimes the missing link is the personal consecration. Uh, I, I noticed at my observation, especially over the, you know, the past 10, 11, 12 months, uh, you know, platforms like a lot of people are knowledgeable. Uh, they know the word and they're doing good good works and so on. But the personal consecration, even in my life, you know, I mean, to, you know, that's something that we need probably to focus uh, because without that, uh, you sure. know, the rest of it is just just. That's right. Exactly. Any thoughts on that? Yeah. Good. The prerequisite for the power with God is consecration. Mm. Without consecration, personal consecration. Mm. Purity. We need to guard our purity. Yeah. And that's what? Prayer? That's that's uh, reading the prayer. word, praying, keeping yourself right before God. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Last, Thank last you. question. <laughs> last, last question. Praise God. Okay, Sebastian. Pastor Rajan, uh, we have known you, we have known your work, we have known your church and your JB ministry. Yes. You, you have done a good job you know, you, in preaching going to Judea, Samaria, and the ends of the world. Thank you. Now, it is not only Judea and Samaria, it is also to Syria <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the ends. Uh, Pastor, can you update us or uh, give us just a rough picture of what is happening to your own Judea, which is Johor Bahru? Okay. Um, well, we are in a year of greater harvest. Um, we have prominently having people getting saved, added to the church. And uh, the work in JB has got three different ministries. The core value of the church is a church without wall, a church without roof, a praying church, a church without border. That's our core value. Now we have ministry in ministry place. We have church planters. We plant a lot of churches. Now we are focusing on house groups. Number two, we have ministry in social places. We have a lot of social homes. We do, the city has become very relevant. We are also have got ministry in missions place. We have 11 countries outside. Recently, we did relief work. We are anchoring the Rohingya community right now. And then uh, we do a lot of flood relief work. So our, our church is known for 
bring relevant to the society. And uh, we are ready to hand the church to a second level leadership, which I've trained for the last three or four years. And that's basically the church. And that's what we're doing now. And uh, well, as many of you would have heard, the Sultan has been very favorable to us. He has approved our land, three pieces of land amalgamated, and he has given us the title church land, Garujatana. We have drawn the plan, so we're going to submit the plan. Three years from now, we'll put up the building. That's all in shock. Uh, the Sultan has been very favorable to us. Yeah. God bless you, Brother Benjamin. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. God bless you. Pray for us. Women? Brother Rajan. Yeah. Uh, you know, everything that you say are very good. But mm -hmm. one thing stand out for me, uh -huh. you say something, lost and found department is found in the kingdom of God. Yes. <laughs> so last Saturday, I was uh, yes, yeah. speaking, Spe uh, speaking to the Myanmar, uh, you know, uh, yes, yes. my chapters. I giving uh -huh. seven scriptures, but yes. um, I only counted you giving 17 today, you know. Seven so today. <laughs> seven only. So yes. the one that I think very felt very strongly for all of us, I think is also a prophetic word, is in Haggai 2, six, yeah, seven. two six, That's yes, right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, the shaking, yes. Ah, yeah, the shaking, you know, the year yes. of 2020. Yes, shaking, yes. yes. But it is also preparing us, yep. right? Yes, yes. Preparing yes, us. Right. So the prophetic word for this year, they say the glory of God will come. The glory yeah. of God. Amen. The, it will be greater Amen. than the Amen. Amen. glory. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, we're, we're going up to 2.25 p.m. and we have about 77 people still here, which is amazing. Um, so we want to just, those of you who want to stay can continue to stay. And uh, we really are thankful for Pastor Rajan to, to really spend a lot Thank of time with us and really appreciate it. Amen. A word for the season, for sure. Um, so Amen. we're up, kind of officially over. We normally Thank run you. about 2, 2.15. Thank Those you. of you want to stay for prayer, discussion, please feel free to do that. Otherwise, you, you can you know, sign off if you want to. Do I stay together with them? Yeah, you can. Please do. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that, that will, more people will stay there. <laughs> okay. So time of prayer or you know, uh, fellowship, please free, free, uh, feel free to do that. All right? Thank you. Uh, you know, my good wife say, I say uh, you know, uh, you, do you need to eat? I said, no, no, no. I need to fast, you know, for this until today. <laughs> wow. You haven't had lunch yet. Huh? Hey, thank you for this opportunity to share the word with the lovely people. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. you still need me to stay on, I'm staying on. Yes. If you need to leave, go ahead. Feel free. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor Rajan, thank, thank you, you for your Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. Over our chapter. We receive hey, thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank, you. thank you. So your so schedule much. is pretty much filled out for the year. I, probably you have a lot of uh, Zoom meetings. Yeah, Zoom meetings. Zoom, meetings. Zoom meetings, teaching in Singapore. Yeah, things like that. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, that's that's the church without walls and that's uh, right. Because everything is in Zoom. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we asked our brother Samuel Tan to say something. Your leader. <laughs> oh, where's Samuel? I just buy just in case my pastor says something better. But... <laughs> <laughs> so we're, I've been so blessed. Yeah. BB chapters has been very blessed with uh, the uh, leadership of Pastor Rajan. In fact, on the 24th of this month, our kickoff service uh, on Sunday evening will be will also be together with Pastor Rajan. Thank you, sir. Those Thank of you. you who want to join, uh, you, you can uh, zoom in. Uh, pastor Rajan has always been the first pastor every Thank year you. to kick off our uh, chapter in Johor Bahru. Thank you for the honor. Thank, Thank you, God. sir. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah, he's our, uh, the, the first pastor that kicked off our chapter meeting too. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, Pastor, uh, Brother Raymond, can I ask your permission to uh, give some announcement regarding the Global Mission Vision uh, Revival Conference from started from March? Can I ask your permission to brief something? Yeah, your brief, brief announcement then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I represent Global Mission Vision uh, based in California. 
from March onward, we have a global monthly revival meeting, and we invite a speaker from all over the globe. Uh, recently, we have a global uh, conference, uh, intercessory conference for mention of 195 countries. And yesterday, on the day, trail was ended. And uh, we will start uh, first from Asia, uh, Southeast Asia, North Asia, East Asia, and we, we, we invite speaker. Any of the country people that you all know would like to be a speaker for revival. And then on April, we will have in Europe. Uh, and then in, in May, we have Africa. And in June, uh, we will have uh, uh, North America. Uh, and then to connect all worldwide. So if you ever known uh, any uh, pastor or preacher who like to speak, you can contact uh, maybe our brother Raymond here or yes. can contact okay. me. Brother Evelyn, I will, I will broadcast to them. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this two, three minutes for announcement. Thank, thank you, you, my brother Raymond. You're welcome. Brother Samuel, the chairman. Who else uh, who need prayer? Uh, this is an opportunity uh, you want to uh, take advantage of. If there are any prayer needs, we all come together and pray for you. Yeah. Otherwise, our chairman is going to announce closing of this Zoom so that some of you are hungry, can go and eat. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's 2.30. So we also want to uh, give that opportunity if you have any specific prayer needs. Uh, and you know, that's something that will be a privilege for us to do. So there, there are people here who can support in that. Is there any specific need, any specific challenge? Uh, a lot of you are guests. Uh, some of you were new. Some of them might have signed off. But if you if you need prayer or a follow up, please uh, put on the chat or just voice it out. Yeah, my my in Myanmar FGB. Yeah. Just pray for our Myanmar FGB to make a more uh, in the God's work and seven hours uh, in Myanmar. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, some uh, sad things are here, but uh, maybe God will lead our uh, Myanmar FGB. Yeah, maybe we can pray for that. Anybody? Pray, uh, remember your prayer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Pastor yeah. Mohan, can I oh. can we have the honor to pray for Myanmar FGB? They're facing some challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, some uh, chapters are leaving. So mm -hmm. uh, just pray for. That's in Myanmar or in Malaysia? Uh, Myanmar, Myanmar, Myanmar. Myanmar, that's it. <laughs> Myanmar, Yangon. Oh. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Want to pray now? Yes, yes, please. Okay. Father, even right now in Jesus' name, we come to you. Thank you're you, a Lord. God who knows all things, and you're a God who is there for us. You're Amen. God for us, you're God in us. Amen. And even right now, Father, I want to lift my dear brother yes, and his Lord. work that you have prepared Thank for him. I pray, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, even right now. Yes. God, Lord. Lord, you said this is the year yes. of harvest. And yes. this is a yellow Lord to oh, be consecrated man, and committed no, to you. And I pray, oh Father Lord, that oh God, that you will you will stir up the hearts of these people, oh Father, that are in those chapters who have been there before and are in now in a state of limbo of not knowing where to put their foot in. But Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus mm. that in yes, this time, Lord. Lord, they will put their faith and trust in you, that they will trust in you and believe, oh God, that you are still there with them. I pray, God, Lord, you bless this work, you bless this brother, and you bless, Lord, the, the efforts that they have put into, Lord. And God, I pray for this year that you will you you will bring in the harvest. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, yes, my Lord. bring yes, more Lord. people okay. in, oh, Father. That even yes, in these times Lord, of please. need, that, Lord, yes, that there will be people who are hungry and thirsty, who want more of you, Lord. Bring them, yes, Lord, in this many. time that they will be drawn yes, to you. Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother Yosun. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank we you. Encourage. Thank you, brother. Yes. We, we encourage what one door closed, yeah. many doors will open. So look yeah, to the Thank new you. Door. Thank you. Yeah. 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 yeah thank you. Yes. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Welcome. Hallelujah. All right. So, Brother Raymond, uh, it's 2.33 on my PC. So, shall we close at 2.40? So, we give some people some time if they have prayer. Of course, we can stay.
by two. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I have a prayer request. Yeah, I want, want to pray for uh, directions and uh, also for uh, what to call in the stage of limbo uh, because um, the company that I work with uh, have not been paying me. So, yeah, I want to pray for uh, certainties, uh, either for a new job or business uh, directions. Mm. Yes, okay. Vern, uh, Brother Vernon Lai, uh, I will ask Brother Samuel uh, to pray because I have seen Brother Samuel over the last two, three years. Uh, he also faced some challenges, but he's been faithful, even though that he's facing challenges. So uh, God had delivered, God had, uh, you know, um, rewarded. So Brother Samuel, why not pray for Vernon, uh, Vernon, Vernon, Vernon Lai. Yeah, which Samuel is that? Uh, Vernon, uh, Vernon Lai. Pray yeah. for, I, I'm asking you, Samuel. Oh, you're asking me? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, okay. okay. It, yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's, let's unite together and pray uh, for Vernon at this time of need. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, Father, Lord God in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for our brother Vernon Lai, who is, who is faithful and who plugs into you. And Lord, thank you for uh, his uh, courage to bring up his need, Lord God. Mm. You know the situation, Lord God. You know the details, Lord, the specific organization he's working for. And you know this Vernon's heart and where, where he is. Lord, he has not been paid for, for the past few months and is going through a challenging time, especially at this time, Lord God. I pray, Lord, for divine wisdom. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray that you would speak into his heart mm -hmm. and you would lead him, Lord God, in the decision and direction that you have for him. I pray that he would look at what he has and able to apply it uh, in the right place, whether it be in this company or another, whatever that's holding back that payment to him, I pray, Lord, you will release it. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, you speak to so, the people you, in charge. Thank Lord, you. I pray you would give them a conscience. Lord, if the organization is going through a difficult time, I pray you would make a way to reward yes, Vernon for what he's done, Lord God. Lord, yes, take away that spirit of discouragement. And Lord, mm. I pray that you will give him the oil of gladness, Lord God. Mm. The favor of mm. the Lord goes as a shield before your righteous Lord. I will pray mm. for mm. Vernon, Lord, this afternoon. Go before mm. him, Lord. We pray and ask this, Heavenly Father, in the name of our of your beloved Son, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, brother Sina. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right. I guess we'll have a good uh, turnout for the next session. I don't know who's the speaker, uh, Brother Raymond. Yes, uh, God was sent. You know, yeah. Amen. Uh, every, uh, you know God was sent. Yeah, uh, you we seem to have a good good uh, following uh, from from where you started. So. God, God bless everyone who's supporting and coming. Please tell others. I think yeah. uh, Raymond does a great job, very good speakers. And, uh, mm. you know, uh, if you're blessed, please share, especially with pre-believers or uh, those who, who don't know the Lord. Yeah. Brother Samuel, did you realize that we have 100 people? Uh, I think we hit 90. I saw 90. Oh, did no, we hit 100? 100. 100. So we, yeah, we hit a, wonderful. We hit yeah, yeah. Time, right? yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure that there are other people, there were other people couldn't uh, yeah. come in. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. that's, Next that's... one, we would live stream on the, on the Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. So it's the first time we're hitting 100, I think. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. The last time was... Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, praise the Lord. It's a good, I, I think this is the biggest FGB. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you who did not come in yeah. uh, with uh, Myanmar, I give a word. It yeah. said, uh, you know, faith without being tested cannot yeah, be trusted. Yeah, that's a yeah, cannot be trusted. Cannot be trusted, you yeah. know. But so wonderful, but yeah, yeah. Well, so it's good thing. Without tested faith. Yes, yes. Yeah. Faith mm. without mm. being tested, this cannot yeah, be trusted. Yes. What Lord. wonderful message. Yeah. Yes. We love, we love mm -hmm. this kind of word, this word. Yeah. <laughs> we have tested our faith. And yeah, then we will continue. Thank you very much. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
So anybody holding back is a time for you before we close? Yes. Yeah, maybe I uh, I yeah, ask yeah, you for yeah, some yeah. prayer. Uh, I was wondering whether to ask you because I just went for my my second son. Told me, Daddy, you go for this medical check lah on the heart and all that because of, and I was reluctant to go, but I went there, and uh, uh, the the results were not that good lah. But I was a bit upset with the way it was done. Anyway, he said, "Oh, you know, because of your history in your family, your heart is weak." You're diabetic, lah, and suddenly he tested and said, "I got high blood pressure." I went there; he measured it at one seven four over one four five. I said, "Crazy! This I don't believe this. I've never had high blood pressure before, and all the time I've been having the most is hundred and thirty, eighty two, or eighty five. And uh, they tested twice, and the, the next one was one six six. I still say I don't believe your machine, lah." I think your digital music is is is, is kaput. So he went inside. I said you must need the the original style of having your blood uh, pressure taken. When he took inside, oh, he said it's 130 and all so forth. Then he asked me to do the stress test. So yeah, I we did. Yeah, you, uh, Pastor Mohan. You say your son. What what do you mean? You My say... son asked me to go for a medical. Okay. He did a medical. So it was response. me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. these are all doctors' report, brother. Yes, Nelson. and. So oh, he, he said because of history and all that, I want to pray that the, all this history you know, and the, under the blood of Jesus, it does not follow through. Yes. After that one, I went to my own doctor again in, in uh, below my church and he tested it was only 128 over 82. So I said, all this is, is just to put fear mm. into my heart. Lah. So I thought maybe since you all are meeting, let's just, I want to... Praise pray, and pray, yeah. Brother Wilson. You pray for the family, lah. Because yeah, they've been okay, okay. and heart attack. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'll pray for that. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank, thank you for this opportunity, Lord. So mm. everywhere, every sick, these diseases mm. are all over the world, and we are fear and suffering a lot. Now, my brothers from Malaysia, his son is suffering with heart diseases. Lord, whatever it will be, hundred eighty or hundred seventy. It's me, brother. Oh, you are yourself. Yes, by sorry. Okay. Oh, brother, mm. yeah, brother Mohan, brother Mohan, Lord, yes, help him. But our age, our time, but yes. everything's in, in your hand, Lord. You can recover. But I, Lord, in my in my view, he is still strong and healthy. Thank you for 